Hi everyone. I hope you had a lovely weekend. And um, <clears throat> so here is the thing. At the moment, my studio is a little bit all over the place, so I still have a few boxes um, full of things because we moved to the house um, last October, and my most most of my art supplies are unpacked, but they are all over the place. So. Some of my scrapbooking papers are like in three different places and then I have washi also in different places and it's all, I like to, to have things organized and know exactly what is where so I can easily reach them and at the moment that is not the situation. So I have um, ordered uh, a piece of furniture which is a lovely cabinet with glass kind of doors and things like that to put in the corner um, of my studio in so it would be sort of close to my desk um, but it's um, it should be arriving hopefully end of this week so then I'm kind of definitely going to get rid of the boxes organize things and really have everything in their own place because at the moment I really feel like I am I want to create something and I want to do something but by the time I realize what's where I just it's kind of off-putting and I kind of lose my idea and um, so anyway um, today I want to do a little layout in a different insert by the way so this is my Mr. Darcy if you haven't seen him before I absolutely love him he's a very precious um, Traveller's Notebook to me and he's my first one first Traveller's Notebook and <clears throat> I ordered it from Chic Sparrow and I can't explain to you how amazing the service was as well as their craftsmanship it's just it's beautiful it's a it's a piece of you know like a piece of craft really it just there I don't think there is anything in the market that compares to it personally that's my personal opinion I bought this with my own money so I'm not paid in any way or sponsored to say this it's just um he's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and I have noticed there are a few little scratch marks appearing and quite honestly I don't even know how because I've been um, I haven't been putting him inside his cloth bag which is super soft but I have been sort of laying the cloth back on top of him just in case when I'm doing art or when I'm working with inks or watercolors that I don't get any splashes on him so I have no idea how this happened but the skin is obviously the skin sorry the leather <laughs> Um, is very um, beautiful and as you can see glossy so it would scratch quite quickly but there are different leathers if you're interested so anyways um, so I've got a few inserts there are vi videos where I talk you through about my setup so it's quite new to me so I haven't done too much work but I have started working in one of the inserts and this is the the Chelsea Paper Co. and again I have mentioned to you that um, the three books that I received, so it's this one, this and this, by books I'm, I mean inserts, this is the B6 size and um, the quality hasn't been great because the I think the blade of the machine um, was worn or something and the edges kind of weren't looking good so I contacted the co company and um, they were supposed to send me a replacement, but it's been quite a couple of weeks now since we spoke last and nothing really happened, so I don't know what's going on, but I couldn't wait anymore because obviously, you know, I wanted to get um, on with my art and journaling. So what I have done is I did this cover myself. I don't know if you can see. Try to zoom in for you. Yeah, you can see slightly. So this was the original cover, which came actually in a different color that, than what I ordered, and I really hated the color combination. It was like craft with some like dark green. It really was not what I wanted. So, but I did want to kind of um, start um, working inside. So I decided to cover it with gesso. So I did two layers, two coats of gesso and then did the cover myself so there is a video uh, about that so go have a look if you want to know how to create your own cover or how to re you know re replace the cover and this is the back of the cover I hope you can see 
So yeah, so that's that. And then today I want to start um, using the, is it the Tamoy River? Yeah, Tamoy River paper. So it's a different paper and it's quite loved amongst the um, journalists, um, journal, journalists, would you call them journalists? No, they're not. <laughs> People who love to journal. So, um, yes, it's it's this um, paper that is super thin and it's apparently lovely to write on. And some people love to use watercolors because it becomes quite crinkly and it's a lovely effect. I haven't used it yet, as you can see, so I thought today should be the day. Now, I have my cup of coffee uh, in a close proximity, but not too close. Mm, a sip was needed. So, I think what I possibly want to do today is to start journaling in terms of using photography. So, I love this idea and this is why I got um, Mr. Darcy in the first place. I wanted to start journaling my life. So, um, I used to love writing a lot and something happened to me where I really stopped doing it. I used to have a um, beauty blog where I really was reviewing um, beauty products every day and I used to enjoy that aspect of writing. However, um, you know, I stopped and I haven't done any writing for a very long time and I'm kind of now into my art and so I want to start combining the two and kind of journal my life. Whatever happens, however trivial it is, it will be nice to look back at some point, I think, especially with my son growing up. So he is um, going to turn two in November. So I have loads of pictures to journal and scrapbook and things like that. So there is quite a few projects that I have in mind, which I need to catch up with. So hence I'm being a little bit, I'm feeling a little bit stressed because I'm, my studio is disorganized at the moment and there are quite a few projects that I need to start on and it's kind of, you know, I like to get on with things and at the moment I can't. So anyway, so I thought to get me um, kind of inspired and to start trying out and how, get a feel for the um, journaling, I should just start today and kind of think what happened today that I'd like to journal. And um, actually today, um, it's not very exciting, but um, it's something. My um, my son spil spilled my cup of coffee today in the morning, which I was really looking forward to to drink. And he just threw his um, toy on the island, and it kind of flew across as I was ironing, <laughs> and the coffee kind of went everywhere. And um, basically, I need to rewash the placemats that I was ironing and all that kind of stuff. And I thought, why don't I, um, you know, journal about it because it kind of was funny um, and annoying at the same time. So anyways, and that's why I'm having my coffee on my desk and kind of making sure I don't spill that one myself. So I think I'm going to use this picture as well and kind of um, try to journal about the coffee and what happened today as well as kind of um, something else and something else is being this. So this is an old picture from my um, beauty blogging. Um, years and I really love how my kind of bangs looked there and I'm trying to get that look now but um, it's a little bit challenging because I'm kind of struggling to find a good hairstylist so um, that's what I want to journal about. Now the things that I can use that are easily available to me some scrapbooking paper so I think I might use some from this, which is um, Paradise Crush. I've done a flip through of this, so go have a look on my channel and you get three pages of everything, so it's quite great. You don't feel like um, you need to wait for the perfect moment just to use that one page. So I feel um, like that will be a great kind of um, way of using it. They're different textured paper, so they're really fun and some of them are double-sided, some are not, so loads and loads to work with. 
and um, what else? And then I have these fun um, washi tapes which I have ordered on um, Etsy and I have shared them with you but I haven't had a chance to use them yet. So there's actually some coffee cups on this one and some donuts and cakes. So I'll see what I can do. So just um, a range of things. And yeah, so let's um, get on with this and see what we can do. I just um, realized my battery is running low, so I don't know if I will have time to finish this. Um, but I wanted to um, quickly mention that these pictures that you see here, um, I used my Canon selfie. Let me see if I can show you quickly. Um, so this is my Canon selfie, the CP1200. And so I used this to print them out and you have a variety of different paper sizes. So the ones that I have is this card size and there is also a postcard size that I have. But anyways, I just wanted to show you that that's how they come out. And then you click off these perforated sides like that. And then you're left with this image. Now I've done two which are kind of in a frame but if you want to have an image without a frame let me just grab you and I grab an, a picture and show you and it quickly it's not in this one it's here yes yeah, so you can do um, like this as well so there is no frame at all um, so anyways, and then what I'm planning to do is to make it look like a Polaroid. So I'm going to cut the top to have the same thickness as the sides and then I'm going to cut the bottom to make it a straight line and that will look like a Polaroid. <laughs> I can't even pronounce it. Okay, more coffee is needed. Okay, so I, um, I've done some journaling and it was actually an interesting experience. I decided not to film that just because I feel super conscious writing my thoughts when I feel that the camera is recording. I have learned how to be creative and do my art while I'm sort of being watched. <laughs> but um, with writing I'm definitely not there and I prefer to do it sort of in my own time and mind space. But um, I'm happy to share it quickly with you. So I um, decided to put a quote on the opening page that says there is no better time than now. And I feel that it is so incredibly fitting with what happened this morning and with how I started this journal. And let me tell you, this is, like I said, it's the first time I try this paper and I love it. Like... Oh, it's just amazing. I haven't tried watercolor yet, but writing on it, it's just like butter. It's it's an incredible feeling. And um, so I'll try to be concise just because there is very um, little battery life left. So I have um, gone ahead and used the Tombow um, uh, adhesive and stuck the two papers obviously and I quite like this look it kind of makes it look um, more interesting than just sticking a paper so it's sort of like a collage like a scrapbooking kind of element um, so I just wrote um, Bang's um, goals over here just to kind of have a little bit something going on on this side and, um, and then I started journaling so I thought, let me just kind of take a deep breath and start writing something because I always think, you know, what should I start with? Um, shall I do this? And then I think, no, this is too trivial. Shall I do that? No, that's too deep. So by the time I do all that thought process, I don't want to write at all. And I just thought, okay, 
I will basically try and journal what happened this morning and that's what I've done. And funny enough, as I started writing, I just could not stop and I had to go on. Um, very often when I see other journalists, um, journalists, I call them journalists, people that love to journal, when I see them do their journaling and the writing bit, um, especially Ali Brown, she loves to write and I kind of looked at it and thought, my goodness, what is she writing about? What, um, you know, what kind of, um, what, what, um, where does she find all these words to express herself? And it's actually quite interesting. Once you start, it just like, you know, keeps going and going. So I didn't want to keep on writing for too many pages, but I thought as it is the first kind of like an introduction almost um, and I will kind of use the other side. Now I've used this pen, the um, Pilot g -Tech C4, which is my favorite to write with. I also like my Lamy, so for this page I used a Lamy um, and uh, so this is a bit thicker though, it's a fine nib but I find it a bit thick. Um, so I do like to do titles with it, but for actual writing I like to have a finer um, pen and this is this one. So it has done some ghosting, as they call it, so you can see a little bit through, but there is no bleeding through. So even with this um, arrow right here I was kind of um, risking it, but it didn't bleed through. So yeah, so that's my journaling. I will go ahead and just probably see what I can do with the washies and if i have time i'll take a picture hopefully and thanks for watching see you soon